Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Saturday, March 14th at the Rotary Center at Oscar Fraser Park in Bluffton, the Daughters of the American Revolution will be hosting a military base ceremony in tribute to our Vietnam vets. Here to tell us more, Bonnie Wade Musia. Bonnie, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm well. So what is the exact purpose of the event? The purpose of the event is really a tribute and a thank you to Vietnam vets. It's the 50th year anniversary of the Vietnam War this year, so my DAR chapter wanted to do something in commemoration of them. So that's um, what we're going to be doing is a, a, a tribute and a thank you to Vietnam vets. And um, who is invited? Can they bring guests? And what will the event actually um, encompass? Um, it is Vietnam vets. Uh, those who um, are Vietnam era vets are invited, and they can bring guests. We do ask them to pre-register, um, and that can all be done, um, I think, online. If yes. I'm not, if I'm correct, and then as well as a phone number, and we'll have all that on the screen. Okay. Yes, and. Um, Basically, um, we just want to have uh, find all the Vietnam vets in our area and have them there. Um, it's, it's been a little difficult to try and find them. Um, so avenues like this is a good way to, to... Hopefully we'll be able to reach a mass of people that... And somebody knows somebody. Right, exactly. That might be interested. And so um, how, how will the event lay out? It's going to be a, a military base ceremony, basically, um, and it'll we'll have, of course, patriotic songs, the national anthem. There are going to be two guest speakers. One is from Paris Island, uh, Colonel Puglisi, and um, the Howard Metcalf, also from the governor's office in Columbia. He's the director of the VA here in South Carolina. He's going to be speaking, and um, there's going to be again military base songs and. Um, other things along those lines. Right, and the <coughs> event, um, I, I, it is March 14th, but what is the time frame? It's at 2 o'clock in the two afternoon. 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And um, um, what is the dress code for, for attendees? Um, we're just telling anybody to dress casual however they want. Some people are wearing uniforms, that's not necessary. Um, we, of course, will see a lot of Vietnam patches and hats and shirts, and that'll be really nice to see. So it's, it's basically casual, come however you'd like. And Bonnie, is this the first attempt to do this, uh, a, a ceremony such like this? In our area, yes, but we're going to be doing more things over the course of the next 10 years. The DAR wants to do an event or two for Vietnam vets from now till 2025, which would span the 10 years of the Vietnam War, the 50th anniversary. And so Daughters of the American Revolution, tell us a little bit about that. We are a lineage-based society, and all of our ancestors fought in the Revolutionary War. And um, um, so we do things that are... Uh, patriotic, we support the military, and we also do things that are to hi uh, historical preservation. And that group is um, a low country group. Uh, do you pull people from Buford and Bluffton, Hilton Head, and from all over, or is it just local in our in our Bluffton area? We're the Bluffton area. There's okay. also a chapter in Hilton Head, and there's one in, in Buford. It's a national group. They're all over the country. They're based out of Washington D.C. and they've been around 125 years. Wow! And so um, your involvement in, is because of lineage lineage from um, from one, the. The Revolutionary War? Yes, I have multiple uh, patriots that fought in the Revolutionary War. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. So if people are interested in, in joining the group, um, Daughters of the American Revolution, mm -hmm. they can contact this, the organization to mm -hmm. see if they're eligible? Yes, uh, DAR.org, they can go right there and um, they can go from there based on their genealogy and their, their lineage. Okay, so the event is on March 14th mm -hmm. and again it, it starts at 2 o'clock yes. and you're looking for pre-registration. Pre is there a cap on the number of people or is nope. it just open to the public? Yeah, open and, to the public. And it is a free event? It is a free event. Okay, wonderful. Bonnie, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us today. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town. Thank you.